Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this quick video on KB Trainings. In today's video, I'm going to give you reasons why I switched from GNS3 to Eve NG. As you know, here on KB Trainings, I create videos like lab videos for those of you that are studying for the Cisco Encore exam or the Enterprise Network Core exam. That's the exam that goes toward the CCNP and the CCIE. So I've been using GNS3 for a long time now, almost six years. Um, since 2014, I started using GNS3 and it's been great to me. It's been perfect for all the labs that I do for all the learning. And as you know, when you are at the CCNA level, Packet Tracer does the job. But when you go upper to the professional level or the expert level, you need to switch to an emulator that really feels like a real device, like a GNS3 or even G. If you look at the past videos, I always used GNS3 and it was just so great. So what are the reasons why I switched from GNS3 to even G? First of all, I knew about EVENG. I've seen a lot of people using it online. For example, uh, Rob Ricker uses EVENG and I know a friend who uses EVENG, but I was never interested in knowing exactly how it is, how cool it is, or how efficient it is compared to GNS3. But lately, I had to move out of my apartment. As you can see right now, I'm in a new setup. I'm going to be in this setup for um, the next few weeks. It's in a top secret location somewhere on a certain planet. And this is where I'm going to create my new videos. And that's even why I hadn't created a video on YouTube for about 10 days now because I was in a moving process and you know how hard it is. So I had to move out and I had to shut down my data center. I had to shut down my servers. The setup that I had on GNS3 was that I was using a GNS3 VM on one of my servers. I gave it 32 gig and it was just good enough for my labs. So moving out, shutting down everything, I was trying to find a solution to that. So I looked into collocation, but the prices were just kind of high and and I really didn't see the need to do that for these few weeks. Um, and I also looked into packet.com. I opened an account on packet.com and I created a server, uh, which was a ESXi host. I installed GNS3 and everything. It was working fine, but the bundle that I chose um, couldn't give me KVM. And also the problem with packet.com is that when you shut down your server, you lose everything that's on it. So when you come back and you want to do some labs again, um, you will have to rebuild a new server, reinstall everything or you can restore a backup of your old server if you had time to, to to take a backup of it because i don't need to have the server running 24 7. i don't do lab all the times i may be using it like six hours a day and uh, so i cannot afford using it for 24 7 because they bill you by the hour so Packet.com was not a perfect solution for me. I started to use it on my laptop. I have two laptops here and they both have 16 gigs of RAM. It was good, but I had issues with KVM. I had issues with memory because you are limited. With 16 gig, you can just create as much uh, switches or routers on your topology. I started looking into EVENG and then I found out that there is a way to use EVENG on Google Cloud Platform. I did it. I created um, a Linux VM on Google Cloud Platform and it's now running and it's perfect. I'm actually really impressed by the, the quickness of the, the devices. I have to mention that I also tried to use GNS3 on Amazon Web Services. It was also not perfect. I had some issues and it was just tiring at some point. I just dropped that option. So this option to me is the perfect option for now. EVENG running on Google Cloud Platform is perfect. And also one secret is that when you start using Google Cloud Platform, they give you $300 credit that you can use for whatever length of time you have. So right now I don't pay anything on Google Cloud and I still have those $300. So if you want to take advantage of it, you should go and create an account or start using Google Cloud Platform. And when I shut down the VM, it saves everything that's on it. And the next time I boot it up, I find all my files and everything in a memory and that's perfect. You have a lot of videos online explaining how to do it. I mean, not a lot, some videos online, but if you want me to do it for you, I can still show you the process of creating um, a VM on Google Cloud Platform and installing EVENG and all the things that you need to do your labs. That's what I'm gonna be using for the near future. And um, yeah, I'll see you on kbtrainings.com forward slash encore for more labs. And if you are studying for the CCNA, go on kbtrainings.com for slash ccna for the course goal is to get you to your ccna without any problem 
if you put your hard work into it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to KB Trainings if you need more video like this or if you are a network professional. Thank you so much for watching this quick video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.